far we've talked about the pentatonic scale, the blues scale, and the diatonic scale. A five note scale, a six note scale, and a seven note scale. We're going to backtrack, we're going to go back to the pentatonic scale. We're going to stay in A minor, I'm going to use the A minor jam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand on the pentatonic number one scale. I call it the number one scale because it's typically the first one you learn. Um, you start there and you can build the other ones off of it. The other reason I call it number one is because it, for, for the key of A minor it has three A's and it has three C's for the key of C major. Um, and of course this is all transposable just so you know every one of these scales because there are no open strings involved. When you learn one scale you've learned 12. You can play this and whatever note that is, the, the bottom the note on the first finger, that's what minor key you're in. So this would be G sharp minor, and then back to A minor, and then B flat minor or A sharp minor. So that's a really good thing for you to know that when you're learning one thing, you're actually learning 12. I love that kind of learning where you can really multiply what you're doing. Okay, so if you remember the notes in the A minor pentatonic scale were A, C, D, E, and G. A, C, D, E, G, and then A, C, D, E, G, A, C. Okay, what I wanna do is I wanna go to the next note on each string towards your, towards your picking hand, okay? We're gonna go up the fretboard. All right, so we have A, C, and the next note after that in the pentatonic will be D. So D is right here. Okay, so we're gonna go. And then on the next string, we had D, so that's redundant, D, D. We have D, E, and then the note after E in the pentatonic is G. So that's three frets up. So we went two frets up to get to the D. We're gonna go three frets up to go to the G. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the D string. So we got G, A, and then three frets up to get to the C, which is the next note in the pentatonic. Okay, and then the next one is C at the fifth fret, C, D, and then E is the next one. So that's right there. And then we're gonna go E, G, and then A is the next one up two frets, right there. And we have A, C, and then up to the next note in, in the pentatonic would be D. Two frets up. Now that's not any kind of exercise there, but I was just showing you how we're laying this out. Now, by doing that, you've got the number one pentatonic, but you've created, you can see the number one pentatonic in all those notes, but you've also created the number two pentatonic here from the seventh fret to the 10th fret, which would be this shape. And you could practice that one and play that one over the A minor jam track, the C major jam track, even over the A7 to D7 jam track. So that one would be, I call that pentatonic number two. And it's not bad, it's got two A's and it's got three C's. So it's a really good one for playing over the key of C major because you got, you got three C's to land on, okay? Um, another thing I want you to notice is that if you look at pentatonic one, all the pentatonics are 12 notes, okay? Two notes per string. So when you look at this, if you look at the upper notes of the, each string, so you've got the straight line here, and those are the lower notes of pentatonic number one, and the upper notes further up the neck are these, uh, it's a great little C, six nine chord I think um, and that uh, are, is the upper notes okay well the interesting thing about that is that is the bottom of pentatonic number two so when you've learned a pentatonic you learn pentatonic one you've learned half of pentatonic number two and we're gonna have five of them and technically pentatonic number five is below pentatonic number one so you've learned half of number five as well so that helps you to visualize what you're doing on the fretboard. Um, that's great. And uh, so when we get to pentatonic number two, if you look at pentatonic number two, the bottom part of pentatonic number two is the top part of pentatonic number one, okay? So this should help you a little bit 
with understanding what we're going to do. And so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a jam track. I'm going to do a play along with Tom track. Um, go ahead and I'm going to try to put enough space. I hope it's working out. I'm not sure if this is working, but I, it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, a lick and then let um, a bar pass so that you can play the lick, that lick in that space. And then I'll play another lick and I'm going to try to keep it slow. I'm going to use, try to use all of these notes. The full, the full pentatonic number one plus pentatonic number two. And I'm going to try to use them kind of between, go between them, not just go play in one and then play in the other. I'm going to try to do that extending pentatonic number one out, okay? I find that it's usually I would teach the pentatonics individually. But I found that if you just kind of know what's there, also you'll start to notice some boxes. Uh, for example, this shape, the bottom four notes of pentatonic number one are right there in the middle of pentatonic number two. And you'll, it's, it's called boxes or box playing, and you'll see a lot of guitar players doing that. Because whatever you do in one works in the other, they're basically just an octave apart. There's another box right here. The middle of pentatonic number one is the top of pentatonic number two. And that one's super common. Uh, Steve Marie Vaughn loved this. He loved to play in pentatonic number two, especially when he wanted to hit that high root. Because you can really put a lot of vibrato on that A note there. A lot. It's harder to put vibrato on the A note on the first string because it's just like, yeah, you're gonna peel it off the edge of the fretboard. But so you, you need a lot of vibrato on that because you got a lot of. You got a lot of fretboard to work with, and it's your third finger's on there, so it's just kind of a more dominant finger. First finger is like, uh, can't get it. So, all right, enough about me. What do you think about me? Okay, so, <laughs> so the the um, thing we're gonna do again is play along with me. If you're more advanced, you can turn your back to the video and listen and copy what I do. If you're even more advanced, you can turn your back to the video listen and, and sing along with what you're doing and if you want to take it another step you can play the same licks up in different positions and that way you're learning your whole fretboard okay you ready to get started okay let's try this okay so just a reminder here's pentatonic number one <laughs> extensions 5th fret 8th fret 10th fret 5th fret 7th fret 10th fret 5th fret 7th fret 10th fret 5th fret 7th fret 9th fret 5th fret 8th fret 10th fret 5th fret 8th fret and 10th fret again just made that up. That's actually not a bad exercise. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. We're jamming on the A minor jam track, which is already loaded. I'll put a link below so you can get to it. I'll put a card in the video so you can get to it and jam along with it on your own without my irritating licks over it.
Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of play around. Um, you don't need to imitate me. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to leave any gaps. So I'm just going to kind of mess around. I may stick a couple blues notes in there. I may do some diatonic stuff. Not exactly sure, but I'm going to try to stick within pentatonic number one and pentatonic number two. Here we go. <laughs> 